Hey everybody, this is Doug with Artfully Rogue and welcome back. So today is an exciting day here in the shop. I just received a gift from Evolution Tools. This is the Evo Saw 380. I don't know if you had an opportunity to watch some of my earlier videos, but I went out and I purchased an Evolution Saw uh, probably a few months ago now. And for me, it was one of uh, the, the great purchases that I made for my shop in the sense that it cuts metal without using friction. So it actually uses a saw blade. Uh, so you can pick up the metal pretty much right after you cut it as opposed to dust in the air. It's just fine uh, metal shavings. And it just, it really upgraded uh, my shop as far as getting work done quicker, more efficiently. And I love the saw that I purchased. It was the 14 inch. There were a few items on there that I wish I had, uh, had made some changes or maybe had upgraded. One was the quick release on the clamp and it was a little difficult to cut 45s because of the double jaw opening. So, Evolution Tools saw that video. I was contacted and they asked if I would like to check this one out. Now, here's what's kind of cool. All of the things that I wished that I had it on my old saw, they have on this saw. So let's go ahead and open it up, let's see what's in this box, and let's start reviewing this saw from Evolution Tools. Thanks guys. box you got to be careful because there's a few little loose parts in there that you don't want to lose these are accessory items that have been sent along with your saw a pair of operating goggles safety first you're also supplied with ear protection some foam plugs you're also given a spare set of brushes and then you have your V clamp jaw it's got the V, that way you can attach it to your uh, clamp, put in some metal that goes right there, you get the idea. A small handle attachment that goes on the wheel. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. So before we start cutting any metal with this, let's take a look at some of these features. What's really nice is you have this quick release section here for your clamp. So when you have a large piece you can slide it back, flip it over, and engage the all thread clamp. So in order to adjust your back stop here simply release the quick stop, remove your allen key, place it in the hex nut provided And then you can line up the degree and angle that you prefer to cut. And then to tighten it up, simply just reverse that process. As a safety feature, as you grab the handle, there is a safety button at your thumb position. That must be depressed before you're allowed to squeeze the trigger. If you don't, that trigger will not engage. Another feature that I like is this clear plastic safety guard. That way it keeps any debris from flying back at you. Another nice change on this larger saw is the fact that it has a single saw blade guard. On the smaller version, there are two guards. One goes towards the back of the blade, one goes towards the front, and sometimes this poses a problem when trying to cut metal as your rear guard will actually contact the metal if it's too large for the saw. Having a single saw blade guard is really nice. 
Okay, so those are some of the features that are on this particular saw. Now, let's get down to the nitty gritty. First of all, there are a lot of reviews out there on this saw. And for the most part, everybody does the exact same thing. Now, they're cutting dimensional steel. With the type of work that I do, I work a lot with reclaimed materials. Wood that has nails in it or lag bolts. I use odd pieces of metal to make art sculptures. So I'm going to put this saw to the test and try to cut some of the things that I would typically use. Okay, so we've tried a few of the reclaimed materials that I use, but now we're going for the big daddy. Okay. I would not recommend cutting a railroad tie every day with this saw. You have to take your time. You risk really dulling the blade. But as you can see, it went through the railroad tie really without a problem. I turned it on the side for the last part of the cut just to make the cut just a little bit easier and it went through like butter. Guys, the Evo Saw 380 from Evolution Tools is a rock star in the metal shop or even in the wood shop. But as you can see, this thing is bomber. So I cannot wait to get this saw on a couple of projects that I have coming up. If you have any questions, then please leave them down in the comments section below. I will leave in the description the link to Evolution Tools and where you can get this saw. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then please hit that button right there. If you have a little time on your hands, go ahead and check out a few more of my videos right there. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.